Okay, Molly is the manager of the copy shop. The amount of money she earns is represented by the equation M equals 21H, where H is the number of hours Molly works and M is the amount of money she earns. If Molly works for six hours, how much money does she make? How much more money does she make if how much more money does she make than Gabe after six hours? Gabe makes ten dollars per hour. All right. First off, we have to represent, and let's actually not look too much into this. Let's look at the first question it's asking, because if you notice, there's two question marks here. If Molly works for six hours, how much money does she make? Let's just focus on Molly right now. So, this is the equation, and we need to plug in the numbers. All right? It's asking if Molly works for six hours, how much money does she make? Money does she make? How much of it? That's what we don't know yet. That's the unknown. We can put 21 in here, and H, how many hours does Molly work? Six. We can put six in parentheses, because that represents the H. All right, so to figure this out, let's multiply 21 times six. One, six times one is six, six times two is 12. M equals 126. How much, so if Molly works for six hours, how much money does she make? 126. She makes $126. How much more money does she make than Gabe after six hours if Gabe makes $10 per hour? All right, what the question failed to ask us or notify us is where this 21 belongs to. All right, you have to understand, first off, 21 seems that it's the, the amount that Molly makes an hour. And you can tell because it says 21 next to H. That means she's a manager. In the real world, a manager usually makes more than the employee does because they have more responsibilities. Gabe works at $10 per hour, so we can assume that Gabe is an employee. So his formula would actually be M equals 10H. So if Gabe works six hours, we could put M equals 10 parentheses six. Remember this is Gabe. So M equals $60, 10 times six. All right, so how much more money does she make than Gabe after six hours? So if they both work six hours, let's look at this. Let's just take this part right here. 126 minus 60. 6 minus 0 is 6. 2 minus 6, you can't do that. You're going to have to borrow. 12 minus 6 is 6. I'll write that right here on this side. Molly makes 66 more dollars than Gabe after six hours of work. Now, if we wanted to show that in a model, let's go ahead and look at it up here. If we wanted to model what Molly makes, put our zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six hours and pay. You know, for six hours she'll make $126. So in order to figure that out, we need to divide six hours into 126. We go to the six, divided by one, you can't do that. Six divided by 12 equals two times. Six times two is 12. Bring the six down, six times, goes into six one time. So she makes $21 an hour. That confirms this, doesn't it? All right, so let's go ahead and add that. 21 plus 21 is 42. 42 plus 21, two plus one is three, 63. Plus 21, 3 plus 1 is 4, 
6 plus 2 is 8, 84, and 84 plus 21, 4 plus 1 is 5, 8 plus 2 is 105. Just to confirm, 126, 105 plus 21, 5 plus 1 is 6, 0 plus 2 is 2, 126. All right.